hearing is a form of touch. It's something that's so hard to describe because in a way, you know, something that comes, sound that comes to you, you know, you, you can feel as though you can literally sort of almost reach out to that sound and feel that sound. feel it through your body and sometimes it almost hits your face. I was born in the northeast of Scotland on the farm that my father had. When I was at primary school, there was the realization that I was just becoming a little bit slow in reacting to conversations and also missing things out in homework and things like that. But of course, when you're eight years old, you don't think you're becoming deaf or anything like that. You just think, oh, something's not quite right and you adapt accordingly. Meanwhile, I had been playing the piano. I started piano from the age of eight and absolutely loved that. But as the years rolled by, and by the time I reached the age of 11, you know, I was dependent on hearing aids. And um, when I was about to go to secondary school, the audiologist said, right, you know, she is deaf. She's, you know, she needs these hearing aids and she's not going to be able to play music, she's not going to be able to do this or to do that, and she's going to have to go to a school for the deaf. So it was just so strange that, you know, 30 minutes before walking through the door, I could do whatever I wanted to do, but then 30 minutes later, apparently, the medical profession tells you that you can't do something. And, of course, my parents were extremely concerned, um, and my father just said, look, you know, there is absolutely no difference in in how, you know, in what she does, what she wants to do, um, hearing or not, she will do what she wants to do.